Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Salam kukar pintar. Hi everyone. How are you today? I hope everything is fine. Welcome back to Kukar Pintar channel with me, Reza Di Pratama. Today, we will learn about past continuous tense. In this lesson, we will use this book, Bright, an English course for junior high school students book. In the end of this video, you will be able to apply the social function, the text structure, and language feature of past continuous tense, and use it in the sentences and daily conversation. This is Frankie and his parents. They are having vacation in Bali right now. What do you think Frankie is doing right now? Yeah, Frankie is making sandcastle in the beach right now. So, what are his parents doing right now? They are relaxing in the beach right now. So, today at 10, Frankie is making sandcastle on the beach. And his parents are relaxing on the beach. Menurut kalian, apakah yang sedang mereka lakukan kemarin pada jam 10? Let's have a look at the picture. These are their activities in the airport yesterday at 10. Ini yang sedang mereka lakukan kemarin jam 10 di airport. What was Frankie doing? He was watching a video. And what were his parents doing? They were talking about things to do in Bali. Let's check your understanding. Look at the sentence. Frankie was watching a video in the airport yesterday at 10. So, answer the question. Where was Frankie yesterday at 10? Di manakah Frankie kemarin jam 10? Di airport. Is it happening now? Apakah terjadinya sekarang? Tidak. Is it about present or past? Apakah ini tentang saat ini atau masa lalu? Past, because it's happening yesterday. Karena terjadinya itu kemarin. Let's pay attention to these two sentences. Apa perbedaan dari kalimat yang pertama dengan kalimat yang kedua? Ya, kalimat yang pertama menggunakan was dan kalimat yang kedua menggunakan were. Why? Karena subjek di kalimat pertama adalah singular dan subjek di kalimat kedua adalah plural. To make it clear for you, have a look at this table. Let's move on to how to form the sentences in the past continuous tense. Look at the first sentence. Frankie was watching a video yesterday at 10. Frankie is a subject. Was is be in the past form. Watching is a verb in. That's how you form the positive sentence in past continuous tense. How about the negative sentence? Frankie was not watching a video yesterday at 10. Frankie is the subject. Was not or wasn't is be in the past form. Watching is verb in. And the question form is like this. Was Frankie watching a video at the airport yesterday at 10? 
was is B in the past form. Frankie is the subject. Watching is the verb in. Now, look at the second sentence. Yesterday at 10, they were talking about things to do in Bali. How to form the positive sentence in the past continuous tense? They is the subject. Were is be in the past form. Talking is verb in. The negative sentence is, yesterday at 10, they were not talking about things to do in Bali. They is the subject. Were not or weren't is be in the past form. Talking is verb in. Now, for the question sentence. Yesterday at 10, were they talking about things to do in Bali? Were is be in the past form. They is the subject. Talking is the verb in. One more thing that you have to know is about the specific time. Where's the specific time in these sentences? Yeah, yesterday at 10. Jadi, specific time di kalimat-kalimat ini adalah yesterday at 10. Kalian dapat meletakkannya di awal kalimat atau bisa juga di akhir kalimat. It's time to practice how to pronounce the sentence in past continuous tense. Frankie was watching a video yesterday at 10. Frankie wasn't watch the video yesterday at 10. Was Frankie watching a video yesterday at 10? One more time. Listen and repeat. Yesterday at 10, they were talking about things to do in Bali. Yesterday at 10, they weren't talking about things to do in Bali. Yesterday at 10, were they talking about things to do in Bali? Now, let's do the exercise. Change the word in the bracket into the correct form of the past continuous tense. Rubahlah kata-kata yang ada di dalam kurung ke dalam bentuk past continuous tense yang benar. Number one has been done for you as an example. Look at the answers. Check if your answer is right or not. Lihat jawabannya. Check jawaban kalian benar atau tidak. These are for your homework. Create your own sentences based on what you were doing yesterday at this specific time. Jadi, ini untuk tugas kalian di rumah. Buatlah kalimat kalian sendiri berdasarkan apa yang sedang kalian lakukan kemarin pada waktu-waktu berikut ini. That's all for the video. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to visit, like, and subscribe. Kukar Pintar Channel from Dinas Pendidikan dan Kebudayaan Kabupaten Kutai Kartanegara. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Salam Kukar Pintar.